my Facebook. Let's hope um, I stay on. <laughs> I um, I am in the Sunshine Coast, and I'm in um, an apartment. And I was hoping to be able to show you um, the beautiful view that I can see because I'm I'm actually looking out at the ocean right now. Um, and all of my different um, things are not working exactly how they should. So I'm hoping that this is going to stay live. Um, my my internet's not the best, so I'm going to just rush and do what I can um, to make sure that I um, get through the message that I'd love to share with you. So how is your Monday going? Um, today on Pause, so this is Pause with Elizabeth Eleanor, and I'd love for you to see the ocean that I can see, um, but the sun is just way too bright at the moment. I watched the sun rise this morning. Maybe I can show you um, at the very end and see how that works. So um, I want to ask you what's wrong with you? I bet um, as soon as I ask that question, your um, brain will start thinking about all of the different things or start questioning what's wrong with you. What is it that you're struggling with at the moment? Uh, because we're actually taught to survive instead of to thrive and to create. And it's no one's fault, it's just the way it is, um, we've been conditioned. It's actually just part of a very interesting intelligent system. Because when we first, um, you know, in, in, in my premise, the way I understand things is that we were this creative spirit, right? And we, and we had access to all information and all possibilities. And we chose to um, experience ourselves. So there's a difference between knowing something and experiencing something. And so to experience something, you've got to actually separate from the rest of everything going on so that you can relate and have um, an experience of being um, individual, separate, this is me, that is them. This is me, I'm, I'm a girl, that's a boy. I'm um, living in Australia, they're living in, in the US or, or wherever, right? And so um, to experience something, there's, there's the, the ex um, part of us has to break off and be separate. But what happened in that separation, as we were born, we start um, being conditioned to survive. We need things outside of ourselves. We need external forces outside of ourselves to be, um, to survive, right? And what happens is our child, as we grow up, that child part of us encounters um, uh, threats to our survival, right? Um, if we um, if we fall over, we get you know, we get shocked. Um, if we do something that that is not uh, um, agreed upon by the masses in our world, like our parents, um, we might um, get into trouble. We might get smacked. We might... the things that happens when we're younger is that we actually. Um, code up what's right and wrong in our world depending on the people that are around us right the parents and all of those things that or you know whoever was your caregivers and um, those things that we then code up as good or bad or how to behave and how to be in the world then get almost locked in like they they're actually a trigger or they're a they're a pattern that our subconscious actually then codes up as this is the way we need to survive and so that we don't perish or die and so they become these like you know two three year old um, little markers in our brain and so they then um, get um, they're these markers that as we get older, 
because we actually survived them and didn't perish, they then become part of the condition of not um, perishing, of, of being able to survive. So as we get older, we have no idea, but we've got these little silent instructions that these are the, the conditions that we need to be in to keep moving forward and to keep um, surviving on the planet. So here we are as adults and um, we have these little patterns within us that we think there's something wrong with us. So we're always looking back into our memory. So here we are, we want a new choice. We want to find love. We want to succeed in our job or in a new business we want to get healthy we've got a health condition or we've got you know um some weight on or you know we find ourselves with some sort of addiction because we're suppressing our emotions and so here we are in this um in these you know things trying to solve a problem trying to sort ourselves out trying to distract ourselves from feeling um, unworthy or, um, you know, we've got all these this um, emotional trauma that we've accumulated through our lives and we're, we're constantly going back into the past, into our subconscious patterns because our subconscious has every single memory that we've ever had, whether we remember them or not. And so when we're moving forward and you know our adult brain is going I choose to have love I choose to have health I choose to have success I choose to have more money um, I choose whatever it might be right when we're having those um, those things in our conscious of I this is what I want to do I want to experience these things our unconscious will naturally go back into the past of whether it's safe or not to have those things and so if your unconscious is saying but you're not worthy of love because remember when you were looking for love before um, this happened and so it, it's got this code in there of it it was unsafe to um, be the first person to say I love you or it was unsafe to reach out for a cuddle or it was unsafe to um, get your needs fulfilled or it was unsafe to um, to ask for um, what you wanted then that is that's a condition that's all in your subconscious patterning and it's a silent instruction and so here you are as an adult going I want love but because you've got this code with inside of you that's saying love is unsafe and it's scary and I don't I'm not deserving of it then you won't even attract the love that you want because you're coming from this unfulfilled need to fulfill some um, old childhood memory that you're not deserving of it. So you're in your reality, you will keep attracting the same type of person that, that hurt you in the first place or you know has the same patterns that will keep justifying and, and validating the subconscious that there is something wrong with you and that you don't deserve everything that you want. So unless you do something to shift those patterns um, and, and break that, um, uh, break those codes, then you will constantly go back or you can, you can move forward in these incremental steps, but they, it takes a long time when you go into the space of, um, I'm going to break that pattern. I'm, you've got to recognize it first. You've got to look at the ghost, right? You've got to see the ghost in the, in the um, you know, 
as a, with the vampires, right? Put the light on the vampires and they're no longer there. And so to really create the love that you wish for in your life, the um, limitless wealth, the health, the vitality, the opportunity to live the life that you love, to create the destiny that you know that you're here to truly, truly create, then it's releasing those codes and re-establishing what your true nature is. You're actually not broken. The system has created codes within you that are um, giving you the illusion that you're broken and because the whole world is running on those codes as well, it's not just you, you think it's you. You think I've t done everything, I've tried this, I've done a new course, I've looked out for love, I'll keep on, on you know, creating the same relationships. I, um, I just can't get to that next level and you know, get promoted. I keep going to job after job after job after job excuse me, and the same people are there that are annoying the crap out of me and it's them, not me. Or, you know, there's, there's something outside of yourself that you keep creating over and over again. And then you finally go, actually, it's me. I'm the, I'm the predominant um, uh, factor. And so you think there's something wrong with you. But actually, if it was personal, then you'd be the only person on the planet that would actually be having the problem. And it's not. It's actually got nothing to do with you. It's actually because you have been born into a particular structure. And if any, if you were being, a, if you were pulled out of that structure and somebody else was put in, into the same structure, they would have exactly the same challenges. So it's actually not you. You are not broken. There's nothing wrong with you. It's the behaviors, the patterns, the beliefs. It's, it's got um, genetic pathways and it's a neural um, um, programming that's firing over and over again, the same patterns over and over again, that's creating those structures, <coughs> those habits that you've got that keep getting the same result over and over again. So it's about breaking those patterns or shifting those codes and clearing them, not from the same level that, that they were created from, which Einstein says, do, you can't change a pattern using the same behaviors as you, um, if, as you created the pattern from, right? And so what you what it is is actually stepping up and i you know uh, if anyone's been watching me for a while i've got a thing called the three powers and when you're in power and powerless when what are you giving your power away to because when you think that there's something wrong with you you're giving that the power you're giving that condition you're giving that belief you're giving that um that memory that trauma the power but actually you're extremely powerful. And when you can take that power back and step into your, to that higher level of your creator, your genius, your empowered being and step into that and clear the codes from the, um, that are um, holding you back in the first place and re-establish the other codes, you know, bringing in the codes that were your destiny, that, that are your genius, and we've all got a genius, no one is special, everyone has the ability to live an amazing, prosperous, abundant, loving, supportive, connected, um, fun, um, vibrant life. Everyone has the opportunity to do it. And so as soon as you start thinking that little thought that you just had that is not for you, or you know that that lower vibration that happened in your body that is your subconscious patterning that's bringing you back into what is known and you can't live a prosperous abundant vibrant genius life in the conditions from your past
It's really having to step out of that comfort zone, expand the comfort zone into a higher vibration, allow that creative tension instead of the psychological tension and really um, start living your destiny. And it's really important. We are here, um, you know, it's so close. It's so close for us to actually wake up to who we're truly uh, meant to be. It, we, we were not brought here onto the, onto the planet so that we can work nine to five for somebody else um, and um, drink wine and watch Netflix and eat chocolate, right? I know that that is not your life. You did not come down here as a soul to um, experience just that. There is something within you that is, is there's a yearning inside of you for more. And I'd love to support you in finding that. So that's my pause for today. Um, I'm going to go back and try and get my internet to work. I've got a one-on-one -on -one client next. And, um, and so I've got to work out how to do that. I um, also have a five-day money abundance cheat code starting today at 11 o'clock. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about that, or you just want to find out how to live the life you love and to step into your genius zone, please put yes, please in the comments. Maybe share in here what you got from this. What, what um, triggered you or what jumped out at you that you may have noticed is happening in your life um, because when you share you're supporting others uh, it's a co-creative experience right when you share you're supporting others who um, may be having the same experiences and um, is going to support them to uh, you know feel okay and safe in the community so if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about how to work with me or how to be um, part of the conscious creator mastermind that um, i run or you would like to um, have a look at the five day money abundance cheat codes that we've got um, the event starts today then just put um, yes please and if you want the five day then put five day if you want um, just to have a, a talk with me about the other options then just put yes, please, and we will be able to, um, I'll get my team to get in contact with you. Take care. I did it. I'll, ch I'll let you see this beautiful, beautiful view before I finish. This is my view. I'm just about to, I've had this for the last four days. Um, one of the things about living in your genius and being in your creative spirit is um, miracles happen and amazing things happen and um, I'm up here at an event and um, was able to grab this amazing amazing apartment um, for really quite cheap considering that I'm right on the beach and I can watch the sunrise and the moon from my bed so um, life can be abundant um, in in so many different ways you don't have to have um, all the money in the world, things just pop into your reality when you are a conscious creator and when you're supporting and connecting to your higher self and living from that higher perspective. Take care, enjoy the rest of your um, week. See you on Wednesday Wisdom and I'll be back at Shell Harbour by then. Mwah.